Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, or really kind of in the middle of a campaign. I'm your host, Mr. Moklover, as we're doing Old World Blues A to Z. We're playing uh, Camlo now, and uh, honestly I've been at this for quite a while because I've had a two-front war versus a broken coast. Wow. And uh, Silex Nation. So it's been one heck of a, a story, kind of, getting through here. But we're led by Ranger Kenneth. Once a beloved father of five and boy scout troop leader extraordinaire, Ranger Kenneth was in the middle of a troop hike when the bombs went off, distraught and broken. He retreated to the radioactive winter pines, losing himself before finding him others like himself in the wild. Lost and broken man, equally disenfranchised. It wasn't long before he gathered a large group and his supplies grew scarce and his mind snapped piece by piece, he grew more and more violent. His people, the Camel Survivalists, as a whistler nomads refer to them, consisted of outcasts, survivors, and other park personnel. Really, Kenneth was looking for anyone who would listen to him, and his illusions as they sink deeper and deeper into his lulls of mania. Eventually, he made a friend in the ghoulified monkey, uh, Jorge, or Hor Jorg. The two became in inseparable shortly after, while Kenneth sometimes using Jorg as a confidant for his more sentimental thoughts of Yor, or to reinforce his own beliefs. So. Um, I've been off doing this for like the last two hours, at least start somewhere here. We're scourge of the whiteout, though. The camels survive us not only with the ways of surviving the wasteland, terror, and extortion by ruling with an iron fist over the few settlements in the great white north wastes of Canada. They eke out a living, but some of them wonder if there's more to life than the, the fat, uh, warm lands to the south, and they'll go and find it. They're the kitted raiders. The camel raiders may not appear as raiders to those unfamiliar with the area, but anyone who sees these almost military looking men know it means that their families are in danger. Absolutely. We've already finished our land auction, we went down conventional warfare. Um, we're actually waiting to go to our second land auction because we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues, uh, for the little guys, is it? No, not quite. Not for the little guys this time. Um, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, Old World Blues Generic, uh, Decisions Expanded. Um, so we're doing alright. We've killed off actually quite a few divisions, and we've killed off, as you saw, quite a few Broken Coast divisions as they keep naval invading me. Three divisions down there, two divisions on a port, two divisions over there. So, yeah. It's been, I've done quite a few things off screen already. Uh, just waiting for things to happen, pretty much. And trying to defend against the Silex Nation. You know, technically we went to war with them, which was dumb. And I didn't like that, but it is what it is. Uh, it was it was alright, to say the least. But we're at the position where I can start recording. And we're actually doing okay, finally. Guns with legs at this point, I don't care. Sure, why not? We're going in. We're having a good old time, supposedly. And uh, we're going to go around and just kill off as many enemies as possible. Because, my God, do we need to end this war? Um, support equipment, uh, it's all ahead of time. We're going to come down to civilized tech. And, of course, as normal, we've been constantly running out of manpower, but we actually have 1,500 to spare right now, which is pretty decent overall. Uh, we grab this mad dog. Yes, please. You can just go ahead and help him out there. Uh, you are going to stay right there, too. You're going to go in there. You can help beat the crap out of them. You can help beat, finish them off, too. Yeah, that'd be good. And circle and destroy these three divisions. I mean, they're not that strong. I mean, they got militia here and whatnot. Obviously, militia's not super strong, but that's alright. Help them out. Get rid of them. Make them feel something. Hopefully pain. Because, my god, trying to fight a two-front war like this... Kind of insane. Kind of nuts. Nice. Good stuff. Did I not do... Someone here? Whatever. And now they're back on the front. Good. Um, the name of the game is Encirclements. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Another encirclement would be fantastic. Unless your training's good. And yeah, ballistic fibers are also very good too. Help them out. Just straight up kill them off. Good. Advanced tools, extraction, sure, why not? And, um, hmm. I would like to have another encirclement here somewhere. Eh, yeah, just go here. See what you can do. There you go. Another division gone would be great. What are we making that we don't have, though? Oh, mobile for fortifications. That's fine. Oh, do they all die or something? Where do they go? Are they? Yep, and this is what they, the enemy's been doing a lot. Just kind of walking around. Great. How fantastic. Oh! 
That's all we needed. All right then. Great. Um, I'm gonna actually send you guys here to the deep cave. I'm gonna send you guys here. Oh, oh, send you guys off too. That's fine there. Honestly, at this point, you can take one right there. Hello. That's not good. Are you George and me right now? Well, looks like we've got another way. We gotta go now. Hmm. All right. Well, you guys can help finish these guys off, and we'll, we'll probably just start taking out broken coast. As long as we can hold off against the the of the groups there, that's fine too. Hey, but we got enough. Uh, let's see. Probably go wasteland tactics. To me, that makes the most sense right now. Let's head that way. Rock control gear is all right. Uh, I'll grab some of this. You guys are going to go right there. That's fine. Just get in there. And factories. We're going to start working on reducing core creation costs, perhaps. That would be great. Heaven's Gate and High Chapel. You're already there. That's good. It's going to take a little extra time, though, to do all this stuff. Take half. You guys go up here, too. That'd be great. We have nothing down here, which is fine. Then we come here. I'm going to start beating the crap out of the Broken Coast. You guys are gonna hold up, hold up, hold them off, hopefully. And then you guys are gonna help us lead the war. Oh, okay then. Comes with the legs. Well, let's see what we can do. Can we get the Thunder River? Perhaps. Attacking us here too, which is fine. Can you actually break over the river here? I kind of don't think so, especially the Spec Ops. That's pretty. That's asking a lot. At least be able to defend that area. Okay, they left the area here. And go figure. Eventually we get some crowd control here and whatnot. I'm just going to have you guys do that. At this point, I'm going to assume that they're not going to be moving us around too much. So do what you need to. Move around. I don't know where they went. They've only seven divisions left. We should be okay. I'm going to move you guys up there too, just in case. Good, they're attacking us here. At this point, with these guys defeated, yeah, you should be able to just core these guys, eventually. Um, for now, we're going to do this first, though. North Coover would be nice. Hey, we got North Coover. Good, good, good. Oh, just go there. Just go ahead. Oh, come on. Good. And start spreading out. Please, for the love of God, do not get encircled. Whistler. At this point, we have a solid front line. And just go. Of course, we can form. Uh, what was it Cascadia if we really wanted to? So there's that option. I'll go here. So they have less options. Actually, if we go in that direction, we might just go here instead. Cut these guys off in the south. That'd be nice. Don't let them push out. Come on. Good right there, though. Good. Hey, you don't talk exactly what we wanted. Another one, at least. I'll keep them in place. Got some more stuff here. Uh, we're definitely in the hills and whatnot. Hills, mountains. And we're going to get some casts eventually, hopefully. Yes. Do something about it. Yes. Do something about it. Yes. Well, five divisions now. We've got successor. Good. Earl's Co. will be ours, so we can get some more compliance for that. The good stuff is also very good. Ooh, more daily army speaking is nice too. Our radios, we're working on the fortifications. Anti tank is not bad. We honestly probably use. Distillations, nice. 
Other consumer goods are also very nice. Tantalus's pain. All right. In all honesty, I don't think we need seven divisions down here. We could just use half of you guys up here. And yeah, we wouldn't have to worry about it, probably. Three divisions should be good enough to hold. Like I said, it's a river. Should be more than good enough. Get rid of another one. Shove another one up here, too. And they start attacking us here, too. Not bad. How is compliance or resistance so freaking high? How much money we got? 95 is not enough. Are we out of guns at all? Any tank and port of weaponry. Um, armor is actually okay too. Riders. I'll put him down. That should be good. And of course, they had naval invade down here too. God dang it, come on. <sighs> That's why we can't have nice things. How much more? I hate Broken Coast so much. It's so annoying to take out. How did they... Oh, they naval invaded. Duh. Um, manpower? Yes. It is and will always be an issue for us. It's okay, so we're going to get rid of you, maybe. It's match warp are good. Yeah, just deal with it. Kill them off. And that's, my friends, how we end up destroying most of the divisions. Let's go there, man. It's fine. Lifetimes, more convoy rating, partisan stuff is good. That was put down resistance, this is ridiculous. Keeping logs. Take hangman sound, please tell me that's enough. Oh, well, see, so it's acting over there, that's good, at least. Corporation girls, please. Keep whittling down their health. That's good. Go there, go there. Don't let him live. No opportunities for life. There you go. Good. I'm glad to see it our way. We are now out of infantry armor. God dang it. Smother them. Smother, 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 smother. Come on. Oh, we got him. Thank God. Jesus. Oh. This was annoying. So now we can focus all on these guys. Yay. Mm, two divisions. I think we'll be best around here. I'm going to throw you ten. Uh, you know what? You tank can handle these guys maybe up here. Good. Uh, more stability would be nice. We have no stability. Which is kind of a big deal. And I don't think we'll get navally attacked anytime soon. So, wow. That's a lot of boats. We got the entire Broken Coast Navy, apparently. 
which is good for us, but Dingbat the Clown. Well, I wouldn't be proud if my name was Dingbat, but, you know, it is what it is. Actually, we got quite a bit of compliance up here, too. Look at that. Good. And that map went away instantly. Wow. Alright, see what you can do here. Could you win? Maybe. Good. Some machine upgrades, y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Sure. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Don't let them move. Where they're going, they won't need movement. Hello. What are you doing? There you go. You can go that direction. That would be fantastic. Oh, they all died. Would you look at that? Love it. Help them out. Long range radio, very nice. Down here, they're still holding out, having a good time. Vel Montcash. So, this is basically what we've been doing the entire time. Uh, we don't want them to attack us and hurt us. So, I guess we gotta do that, baking some powder. So, other than that, uh, we're taking out Cynix Nation. Is it Cynix? Silex Nation. Broken Coast. And we're gonna take out the Passkeepers, too, which I did not plan on them attacking us at all. But, we do have a couple of new things. We form a bull nation. So we need uh, to be at peace in the Brotherhood, Washington Brotherhood, and or the Washington Brotherhood under us. Okay. So we'll do that one later. Um, but the Ice Picks. The Ice Picks are a small but powerful raider group operating within Camlo, extending their services to our organization. Though we may not necessarily be a line, who's to say we can't get along? Work the slaves. The Ice Picks are one of the larger slave groups in the land, given their diplomatic nature. They're far better to work with uh, than the pirates in the Maw or around Broken Coast. We'll contact Gunter and arrange for him to make them double production. <coughs> Hire the goons. Plenty of aspects feel like they don't get enough action anymore. Want to help them with that? Jane's contacts. Jane Morris's contacts all along the western seaboard would be willing to let us offload labor onto them for the right price. Advanced weaponry deals. Jane Morris loves guns more than anyone else you'll ever meet. She collects and ensures the welfare of any she can get her hands on, but even she'll part with some of her elite weaponry for a fee and purchase vertebrates. Which is kind of strange to get vertebrates, but I think about it there. We're doing very well for now. And uh, we'll hop, try to finish off some of the past keepers. In the next episode, we'll take out the dredgers. Uh, the Heidi Confederation in New Victoria and Cooper. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with Camlo. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.